Hi guys. Uh, oh, I am feeling so much better today. How about you? You guys feeling better? Uh, rocky couple of days before that though. Woo. Anyway, uh, listen. I think I want to go into something a little bit deeper. And I know, especially star seeds that are uh, first waivers, which, who are older than me, because I would say I'm probably so oh, so hard to name the, the the waves because it's all one thing. But I would say probably second wave maybe is me. But uh, yeah, I think we were taught, we were told, uh, not me particularly because I was not aware but uh, we came to help Gaia but there was a message there at the beginning <coughs> <coughs> excuse me to help humans really strong help humans really strong but that's because they were here and Gaia everything on Gaia Gaia loves she considers every physical being uh, the physical makeup, the body that I was talking about, all of that she considers her children. So she wants, like any good mother, she wants all of her children to be cared for. So all of the beings on this planet, she wanted them to go to 5D with her. Okay? Now, all of the plants, the animals, the elementals, all of that, uh, they are going with her. Uh, relatively smoothly. Uh, they, there are some that you see around you now that it, it's really kind of hard to explain because she's almost almost completely in 5D now. And so is most of the plants, the animals, etc. And they're, they're kind of phasing out, I would say. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, I could notice it. Uh, I don't know if anybody else does, but the occasionally or more and more often the trees and the animals a sparkle to me uh, because of this phase out process as she goes to 5d and all of they all uh, they all go to because they're more aware than humans now human beings uh, do have the ability uh, well they, everything else does too but they want they came and they want to go with uh, Mother Earth, so they're going to go. Whereas human beings are, that's not all their plans. Some of their, they plan to stay in 4D. Some plan on going back to 3D. Uh, there are a lot of plans going on with human beings. So you don't know if you're dealing with somebody who's in the process of going, uh, what we, what you would say, going down in, in vibration, and they're going to go to another 3D planet or if they are going to stay in 3D. And that's the trick here, is you don't know what anybody's doing, what their plan is. Now, that's the reason why I'm doing these videos talking to star seeds. And I'm very specifically talking to star seeds, and they should recognize me, they should recognize my vibration, they should understand and really, um, recognize my story and what I have to say and those are the people I'm talking to the rest of you guys I'm not talking to you so I would appreciate it if you guys just ignore me and move on I am talking specifically to star seeds um, and they came to help Gaia go from 3d to 5d on her path and not interfere with uh, any of you humans or um, quad entities who are playing 3D, 4D games. We don't want to interfere with you, but we don't know who you are, okay? So a lot of times we're trying to help uh, when we're, our help's not wanted, and that's gotten us into lots of problems, lots of pain and anguish depending upon how old you are, starseeds. And what I'm saying right now to you starseeds is I am giving you permission that now's the time you've done what you came for you can go home now you can go home now and that's what I'm doing so come with me 
uh, you, you can go to 5D and zoom up through 5D relatively quickly and then move out of this creation via 5D. And by the way, why has no one asked me what is there on the other side of 5D? You guys curious? You gonna ask? What happens after we get to 5D? Because 5D is not home, it's still in this creation. And there's quite a bit of this creation on the other side of 5D. I know they don't think so. They think the 3 and 4D, uh, the 3, the humans that are operating and want to do 3 and 4D, they think that this is all there is, and it's a pretty big place, but there's a lot more to this creation, um, 5D and uh, above, so to speak. Uh, there's a lot of this creation outside of time-space. All of this creation is not in time-space. That's a very unique portion of this creation that I talk about. And uh, fortunately, there's a lot more freedom and you don't get stuck in this creation. You can get out and in and out and in uh, this creation and many others. Most, most others do not, you don't get stuck in them. Like this is stuck in this body. But anyway, back to the point. The point is that uh, I want you to know that uh, your job is done. She's good. Guy is good. Uh, we did what we came for. And you have, feel free to uh, come out of this muck and guck. Uh, you've done your job. You did a really awesome, awesome, good job. Whether you know it or not, whether you were miserable or not, uh, you being on this planet with your feet on the ground helped her in so so many ways but you can go now you, we can go now uh, you can go outside of time space you can wander around this creation if you'd like you can go home or whatever you'd like to do but you you've done your job Gaia is good Gaia is good nothing can stop Gaia from being on her path now and uh, the majority of her is in 5D and she's feeling much better. And hopefully you all can feel that. Uh, kind of get by the humans a little bit and the quad entities. Get by all those guys. Try to ignore what they're doing and feel nature and you will feel a new... Uh, six, since 2012 she's been feeling better and better and better. Everything on the planet itself is feeling much much better so try to lock into those that's why that's why guys all I can do is tell you that the best thing that you can do for yourself is to get in nature because Gaia is almost completely in 5d so if you sit on her with the entities that are matching her which is all of nature then you will feel better. It will feel more like home. If you stay in a city, if you stay around the, the humans and the quad entities, it's going to continue to hurt. It's going to continue to hurt because, uh, because for obvious reasons of what they, their game is. Uh, for the same reason it has hurt you all along, that the game doesn't feel right to you. For all of you people that you love the game, you love duality, you love what you have had on this planet, I'm not talking to you. Go have fun. Enjoy the game, please. Please. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to starseeds. And by starseeds, I mean entities that came to Gaia's call for help from outside this creation. So all you star seeds, whenever you say, where am I from? The places that you're from are so outside of what you can experience here that it's almost impossible for me to describe. Other than to tell you that all the star seeds came from awesome places. They're beautiful. They feel good. They make sense. And all of you know that. But it's outside of this creation, all of you, that I'm talking to. That's the star seeds I'm talking about. Which probably shouldn't be called star seeds because 
stars implies within this creation. I mean, way low in this creation, but I don't know what else to call you. So, I think you've been calling yourself star seeds, so I'm going to use that. But there, there are different kinds of everything, and I'm talking about the star seeds that are outside of this creation. You guys came screaming through to Gaia at her call for help, and you probably have a very strong affinity for Gaia herself. You probably have a very strong affinity for nature, and you probably have a very strong uh, feelings of confusion about the game here. Those are star seeds, and that's who I'm talking about. And I'm telling you, you've done your job. You can go home now, and that's where I'm going. And I will try to help and uh, uh, tell you what to do. But the best thing that you can do is be a little bit happier tomorrow than today. That's number one. Number one, above all. Number two, get into nature because nature has already increased its vibration to the fifth dimension. So the more you spend time in that arena, you'll feel that 5D and it will take you to timelines that will get you there closer. Closer to uh, the fifth dimension and up to the higher levels of fifth dimension so you can get out of time space and go home. Okay? Does that make sense? Alrighty then. Then that's all there is for me right now. Huge hugs. I love you guys, guys bunches. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.